We've got Kieran O'Hagan, fixed income strategist at Société Générale, live in Paris for us. Uh, Kieran, great to see you. Well, you know, let's Good morning. start with that question I just put to David Tweed. Is this not just a, a bailout of Greece, but it's a bailout of the euro? Well, I think it's one step forward for Greece uh, just now, but two steps backwards, possibly over the next year or two. I'm surprised that we've landed ourselves in this situation. I would think that a better solution would have been for Greece itself to solve its problems on its own, and that should have been made clear to Greece from the very start back in December. Indeed, the ECB embarked on that policy in toughening its collateral rules um, at the end of last year, or talking about toughening its collateral rules, and now has, has to done a full volt fast. That, unfortunately, is not good for longer-term confidence. So what goes on from here? Is this enough? to stem any contagion risk? It may be so for now. I would expect uh, this week a rally on the front end of the Greek curve. However, over the longer term, uh, next year, the year after, I'm not at all confident uh, about the outlook. The driving fear behind Greek bonds over the past few months has been the fear that the bond market, both government and bank bond market, will become increasingly politicized. And this is what we're seeing. The IMF now will have first call, will be de facto senior uh, to uh, GGBs, to bonds issued by the Greek government. And I fear that aid given as well by European governments will also be de facto senior. What's very clear in any case is that the government bond market for Greece is now a politicized instrument. What about haircuts? People have been talking about how much people would get in terms of the face value of these bonds. What do you anticipate there? I think over the near term, over the coming months, for, uh, for the May redemption, there is no question at all of a haircut. Investors will get their money back in full. Investors that have bought uh, short-dated Greek bonds uh, stand no risk whatsoever. I think that's made absolutely clear uh, by the measures that have been taken. Uh, the danger is really uh, over the longer term, should Greece decide not to play ball uh, with the European Union or not be in a position to play ball? What happens in that case? And that, those worries are still going to drive investment decisions over the coming months. You're not convinced then? I mean, clearly you're really sceptical of this deal. Yes. Uh, just before uh, I came on, you had uh, Mr. Pape Consolino, who said that it was absolutely necessary to save the country, that we embark on this policy of aid. The alternative uh, would be for Greece to have embarked on fiscal austerity by itself uh, and gotten itself out of its own difficulties it would have been entirely possible. This temporizes. This buys Greece some time. Greece can use this time productively uh, to implement austerity, uh, or it can use it to play games with the European Union, and investors are not going to be certain which and won't know, indeed, uh, until the end of the year, which path we are embarked on. Kieran, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Kieran O'Hagan there from uh, Société Générale.